Hey guys, welcome to another video here at Cloud Colubrids. It's about 8.30 in the morning. It feels like it's almost 90 degrees out, so it's gonna be a hot one. In about an hour, I'm gonna be heading out to Daytona. I'm gonna grab a nice iced coffee on the way, so I stay alert so there's no coffee today in this video. But I got a treat for you guys. I have eggs hatching everywhere, and each clutch, I'm gonna break up a video for each clutch so I can show you all the babies. So in this video, Apollo, that beautiful ink drop Cali King, and that beautiful 60-40 female, their eggs hatched out about eight days ago. They didn't shed yet, but I'm gonna separate them, show you all the babies. So stay tuned, it's gonna be an amazing video. I gotta head out in about an hour to Daytona. So let's do this, and I hope you guys enjoy. All right, so here is Apollo's clutch. There were seven eggs, one which went bad, so we had six beautiful babies in this clutch. So we're gonna separate them, and they actually hatched out six days ago, so in about a day or two they might shed, but because I'm going away to Daytona for a week, I don't wanna leave them together and have the chance of them getting hungry and maybe eating each other. Highly unlikely, most breeders leave the Cali Kings in together, until they have their first sheds, no problem. But I'll probably be away while they have their first sheds and I just want to separate them, look at them, and play it safe. So this is going to be the bins for each baby. I have them all here. Normally I would put them in a rack, but I don't have enough rack space. I'm going to be building two racks right after Daytona. So for now I'm going to keep them in these. And these will become available, so this is just temporary until they go to their new homes. I'm gonna show you exactly how I set them up, and I do have one that I'm holding back. I'll be putting that one in the rack. So let me show you exactly how I set these up for the baby, for the baby hatchlings. I'll give you guys a quick look at what I have. Now there's a little particles, but that's not in the cup that's underneath when I glued it. This is glued so it doesn't come apart. Just have your paper towel, and you see how small these holes are? You want them nice and small. These snakes are not that big, so you don't want them escaping. And all I do, I, I label all of my bottles. This is water, so I spray it with water. Give it a nice spritz. Just get it nice and moist, just like that. You don't want it soaking, soaking wet, but you want it a little bit more than damp until they have their first shed. And after they have their first shed, you could put them on Aspen, Sani Chip, whatever bedding you like. You could also use paper towel, but then I would keep it dry. You just want it nice and moist for these hatchlings before they have their first shed. And we're gonna add some nice spring water, only the best. So I set up all those bins last night. We're about to put the snakes in. And remember, before they have their first shed, when they're hatchlings, they need it nice and moist. So you spray it down, give them that nice moisture they need. Once they have their first shed, they don't need that moisture anymore. Make sure it's dry, give them water and a nice hide. I didn't put a hide in those because it's all wet. I didn't want the paper towel roll to mold or get any squishiness going on. So I didn't put a hide, but I put a lot of paper towel so they could hide underneath. Let's take a look at these babies. All right guys, so this is your first up close look at these babies from Apollo. You can see they have real, real nice markings on them. And we're gonna separate them now. You know, when they're babies, they love to all bunch up together, steal each other's body heat. They feel nice and secure. Give you guys a little aerial view. These guys have really nice head stamps, really interesting patterns. So let's take them out one by one and get an up close look at one, at them individually. Sorry guys, I didn't mean to break up the party. All right guys, so take a look at this first little baby. Once I put them in the bins, I'll actually label them in order. Right now, I just wanna show you what they look like. This little guy really looks nice, nice clean bands. He has a couple of little polka dots in between the bands, which gives him a little bit of uniqueness. Take a look at that nice 
Take a look at that nice head stamp. Now these babies from the California King snake clutches came out almost double the size of my corn snake. So I'm really happy about that. These guys could probably knock down regular small pinkies right out of the egg. Check out this next little baby right here. Nice, nice looking pattern. I love when you see these little aberrancies, these little bro broken up bars, which look like little dots in the middle of the banding. It makes it really unique. Now take a look at that beautiful belly on this baby. Looks gorgeous. So some of these have little white streaks around their eye. It looks like little eyelids, I mean eyelashes. This one doesn't have it too much but a couple of them do. Now this guy is just really nice and clean. So we're gonna put him in his bin and grab the next snake. Beautiful looking baby right there. I love that little broken up pattern right there. So take a close look, this is baby number three. And look at all of those little markings. The bands are slightly broken up. It has like a little bit of an aberrant pattern. And then towards the neck, it has some more checkerboard going on. The tail area has clean bands. So now look at this little guy right here, staying really calm in my hand. And look right above his eyes by the neck area, that head stamp, or do you call it a head stamp or a neck stamp because it's right below his head. He has some really, really nice markings. That to me is the one my fiance said looks like a heart. I got it confused with the other guy and you know what? That actually does look like a heart. Really interesting. Nice clean, has some aberrancy beautiful snake and that's the fourth baby look how nice and calm they are he did go to the bathroom on me when I picked them up but it's all egg yolk in their system doesn't even smell bad but that's gonna change as they get older <laughs> so check this little guy out it's gonna be hard to show you but if you look above his eyes you'll see those white streaks that's just part of his head stamp, but it looks like white eyelashes. It's pretty cool. So this is the fifth baby that I took out. Really, really calm snakes. They got some nice plumpness to them. Really nice. Check that out. Now you can see the bars, the bands don't fully form all the way around the body. It's not an ink drop, but part of it wanted to be an ink drop. You can see some of the little droplets there and there. Then you see little bands. Really interesting, beautiful babies. So sometimes you have to improvise. You see my water cup. I didn't have enough of those tiny little deli cups. So I'll just use the bottom of a water bottle. Make sure the edges are nice and smooth. I had to cut it perfectly so those edges were nice and smooth. Now it's really dark in the room, a nice shade, so a lot of these whites are looking really dull in this lighting, but if I put these outside, it'll be nice and crisp. Plus, these guys are going to plus these guys are going to be shedding out in about 2 days. They'll give you a close-up look at those eyelashes. Those beautiful head stamp eyelashes I call them. So this is the guy I decided to hold back. This was the very first egg that hatched out of the clutch. So it was a real surprise to see this unique looking Dalmatian aberrant ink drop pattern. You could even call it a twin spot. Hard to see on camera, but you can see the way those little dots line up in uniform. Now this guy is about to shed. He was the first one out and the others hatched out about a day or two after him. So when he hatches, he's gonna look nice and crisp. This one's actually the feistiest one in the clutch as well. 
So, so I'm gonna put this guy in the rack. He's a little feisty. He already got me twice. Not, he didn't attack me, but he pooped on me twice. So I'll be giving you guys an update in about two weeks on these guys. I have another clutch from Edge and Xena. They all hatched out, only one egg is still hatching. So in about a week, I'll be posting that video. You know I have Daytona coming up, so I'll be busy doing the Daytona videos. So let me put this guy back. And you can see that beautiful influence from the Don Shores line from Apollo in this little guy. Alright, so that's all the babies from the first clutch, Apollo and that beautiful female. Now the next clutch I'll be unveiling to you in another video, Xena and Edge. Beautiful, beautiful clutch. All hatched out except one who I'm looking at right now and it's halfway out the egg. That'll be another video. And then the beautiful Sahara and Mojave, my Tarahumara Mountain Kings, all the babies hatched. They're all piled up together. They look so beautiful. Once they shed, I'll be giving you guys an unveiling of that clutch and the T-positive Head Splotch Nelson's Milk Snake Clutch. Half of that clutch hatched out already. There's a couple more eggs. That was one of my bigger clutches at 13 for that first time breeder pair. Those babies look amazing. I think there was like one or two splotched couple of albinos. I'll show you guys that in another video as well. And I'm still waiting on pumpkin and Kane's three little eggs to hatch out. So when I come back from Daytona, I'm sure I'm gonna see a lot more faces. Right now, I'm getting ready for Daytona. All right guys, so now I'm off to Daytona. I'm gonna go to one of my local specialty coffee shops. Get a nice iced coffee. It's almost 95 degrees right now. And then just drive right up the coast. Beautiful drive to Daytona. Can't wait to check into my beautiful hotel room. And then a couple days later, meet all you beautiful people and beautiful reptiles. We're gonna be recording the whole event. I just can't wait. It's gonna be a huge show. So if you still have time to make it out to Daytona, I highly advise you do because this might be the biggest Daytona show in over, I don't know how many years, but this is gonna be a big one. So I'm glad you guys hung out with me, enjoyed the video. Catch you guys in the next one and hopefully I see some of you in Daytona. Be safe. The f Whoa! Ah, oh, he got me good, he got me good, hold on. Alright, let's try that again. <laughs> so, press. this one's actually the feistiest one in the clutch as well. So... Oh yeah. Demon.